Yo, what's up everybody? My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of GTA 4 Making Moves in Liberty City. And today guys, we are back at it again. Today guys, we are here in Middle Park. We're actually just uh, actually just waiting outside of Mil uh, Middle Park right now because as you guys are, may or may not know from episode 10, we have a contractual agreement to still do those assassination missions. So we've kind of been on the back burner with those so we're going to be catching up today. So uh, I was originally thinking of maybe just going over the phone and discussing it but um, obviously with Liberty City knowing about uh, or the LCPD knowing a lot about the gang violence recently, maybe not so much of a good idea to do, talk it over the phone. So we're actually going to go visit the contractor over in uh, Middle Park. I almost said Mirror Park. I'm so used to GTA 5 at this point, but we're going to be going to Nickel Street. We're going to go ahead and see him. And uh, since because um, police activity has been kind of high, we're not going to be taking our car with us as usual. We're going to be taking a train all the way there. So all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get on the road here. It's pretty packed over here in uh, Algonquin, as you can see. This uh, part of the street is pretty packed. We have a bunch of cars out. And you know what's crazy? My car density is only on 23. So I'm surprised there's not even that many people. Uh, we're gonna have to find somewhere around, of course. I don't know how we're going to get there exactly, but anyways, I hope you guys have been doing well, of course. I know I've kind of been on the back burner with GTA 4, not just speaking of making moves in Liberty City, but other things like, you know, tutorials, the van vanilla version of the game, and things like that. I know I've been kind of on the back burner with, but uh, I plan on returning back to those relatively soon. As you can see, I've kind of gotten making moves back up on the start. Oh, poor guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, 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 yep. They're going to go for a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that's the funniest part about GTA 4 is just the AI man, but um, you know, like I said, I'm gonna be returning back to some of those series, of course, um, or I'm gonna be getting them back on the uh, back on the roll. I'm gonna try to make a U-turn over here because I need to get over to Nickel Street, and the only way to get to Nickel Street is to go through uh, Topaz, then go into Columbus, and then go down over to Nickel Street past the museum. Oh. This is one of the things I don't like about uh, the traffic here in LC is that if they bump into you, it's your fault, so you get a wanted level for it. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, GTA 4 making most in Liberty City is not the only thing that's been kind of stopping. I know I've been on a back burner with GTA 4, and you guys have been enjoying the GTA 4 content that I've made previously. So I'm going to try to kick it back up with some more GTA 4. I definitely do admit that uh, it's been on the back burner. And speaking of GTA 4, I want you guys to keep a pretty good lookout this New Year's Day coming up very soon uh, something pretty special coming up and hopefully I also had a pretty good Christmas as well guys Merry Christmas to you or Merry belated Christmas but yeah this New Year's I definitely have something coming up pretty cool for GTA 4 can't quite say what it is yet but you guys will definitely love me for it it does revolve around GTA 4 and I can say for those who've been watching GTA 4 on my channel for such a long time you probably have an idea of what it is already <laughs> but I'll keep it as a surprise obviously but I would like you guys to obviously be there on New Year's looking out for that because it's it you guys are definitely gonna blow up over it I can tell you guys are gonna love it <laughs> um, but yeah anyways we're gonna be continuing here um, now the way I want to do making moves in Liberty City is I do have the next episode as a cinematic episode as a matter of fact I've already been kind of starting on it um, I've already got a little bit of way through it. So the next episode is definitely going to be a cinematic episode. This one is going to be more of like a kind of a, not a laid back episode. But it's going to be more so of a episode where, you know, we can kind of um, talk about things, kind of catch up, you know, keep up to date what's happening with the series and things like that. But uh, the next episode is definitely going to be something pretty interesting. It's going to be reaching its climax pretty soon here. We're going to go ahead and stop right over here somewhere. Good lord, talk about traffic in Liberty City, man. Good job, nice job, nice job. Okay, cool. So I've actually been reading some of your guys' comments about making moves in Liberty City. You guys have been giving some suggestions. I've actually acknowledged the mod regarding the the Big City Life mod that uh, gives you the, uh, the food and hunger kind of thing. But I just don't... I, I don't know, I've taken a look at it. I need to take a, a deeper look at it to see if you can only just get the 
the food and hunger because I like the other features and all, but it's not like it would really fit because I've already got those in the game already as it is based on the other mods that I have, so I don't think it's really worth keeping per se. Um, but I mean, if you can disable some of those features and just keep, you know, a couple of them like the food and hunger, then I definitely would be interested in just keeping that. But uh, I want to thank you all so much for recommending these mods, obviously, like the Big City Life mod. Um, actually, a couple of you have already recommended the EFLC weapons. How I've already got the EFLC cards in, you guys wanted to see the EFLC weapons. I found a mod where you can actually implement those into the game. I just had to put them in. Um, and I'll definitely get those because uh, I feel like those will kind of come in handy in some of these um, videos, obviously. I mean, that's, uh, that's... What the hell, buddy? You had, like, extra room on, like, the left-hand side of me to run. Goodness, what's up? What's up with these guys? Literally wanted to run right into me. But yeah, we're definitely gonna get um, get that on the roll uh, with all the different mods and things like that. I, like I said, I will check out the Big City Life mod. Um, I know there is also a couple of other mods that I think people told me to install. There's this uh, there's this mod that people have been telling me about the. Uh, I forgot, it. dude. You ran right into me. Are you okay, idiot? Anyways, um. Yeah, people have told me about this whole mod, about the, um... Ah, I forgot what it's called. Potential Grim, I think it's called, where all, like, the gangs exist in the game. Like, they actually do things. Dude, look at where you're going! You just ran right into me! I'm walking! I'm walking here! <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, like I'm saying, um... I know there's, there's those mods out there, so I definitely want to get that. It sounds pretty interesting, too. I think it'll fit in with the storyline that I got going on here. And, uh, yeah, man, I mean, I, there's a lot of stuff I've been kind of looking up for, for making moves, but yeah, you know, I wanted to, um, get a video out of making moves, um, so I haven't really had the chance to install these mods, but I think by the next episode, or after the next episode, I definitely will have it. So again, it's Potential Grim, then there's the, um, that other mod with, um, what do you call it, the Big City Life mod that I'll take a look at too. And then the EFLC weapons. Anyways, here's the contractor. He's right over here. We're going to speak to him. We haven't seen him in a long time. In a very, very long time. Hi. Give me a number two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Thank you. This guy always stutters over the phone. Same exact line. He's near Guantanamo Avenue. Isn't that in Alderney? No, man, my GTA 4 geography is off. He is going to be in a parking lot near Mile Marker 3 on Northern Expressway. I think he's in the parking lot. So you actually have to go to Planch and then take a, what, a left-hand turn and then go to the parking lot? There's like a little parking lot there. And the reason I know that is because of the pigeons. I have played GTA 4 to know about the pigeons, to know that there's actually one nearby here. And I was looking desperately for it. There's like one over here too, I remember. I'm, I, believe me, I know some of these locations. Like there's one over in like the little bell area here, East Island City, the one that you have to shoot a rocket into. I have no idea, but uh, that's that's to, that's to tell you how much I know about my GTA 4 stuff. Um, but anyways, we're going to go and head over there. Um, and we're not going to be using our car. We're going to be going through the station or the train station. So my knowledge of the train station really is to... Um, how we really want to go about this is basically, I mean... I think we can take one of them here. Let's see, where are we at right now? We're in Middle Park. Well, this is it right here, right? This is it. Yeah, this is the train station line. I'm actually looking right. I, I missed it completely. Okay, so here it is. So it's basically straight, straight, straight. Then it goes all the way here. Then we could go here. And then I don't know if it stops somewhere here or not. I think there should be a train station stop nearby somewhere here i don't 100 percent remember i don't know you know what we'll give it our best shot obviously i mean it's not gonna always work out the way we want it but we'll, we'll do it we'll make do actually what i do want to go right now actually is to reach the train station itself so i want to actually go to this one right here i'd say somewhere around here i think kind of go on the street and see if i can get there we're gonna make a move for it all right. Now you might think, how come I got two of these little red markers on the minimap? You guys see that? At the very bottom left of my screen, we got two of those. Well, 
the reason why I have it is because I actually tried doing the assassination mod one time and it bugged out on me so I had to reload all the scripts in GTA 4. So that means that all the mods kind of reload and things like that and you know all the stuff kind of resets from how you originally started the game. Um, not like from the very very get go like you know two years ago but I mean like from when you started playing it today. And uh, basically it, um, it, it, it just kind of kept the blip there and I saved the game without even knowing it was there. So uh, it was just kind of stuck there. I forgot what day I did that on. I think it was day like the second episode of doing the assassination mod. But uh, you know what, we're actually going to get, I don't know if I can actually make it there or not. I just want to go to one of the uh, the train stations somewhere here actually. Oh there it is, right over there, across the street, okay cool. See, I don't want to keep on running because every time you run, the police have a very huge, uh, they, they really have a huge hard on for catching people doing that. For some reason, I have no idea why. But if you run, you actually get a yellow mark. And for those who don't know what that mod is called, where all the police is more vigilant than, you know, the original copy of the game, it's uh, called the Arrest Warrant mod. Oh, it's, it's trying to go away. Gotta reach across the street. There we go. Cool. But, um, yeah, I mean, and I wanted to know, guys, um, you know, I've I'd, I'd done GTA 4 mods, like, not just making moves in Liberty City and. Uh, LCPDFR, and uh, what else did I do? Man, I've done so many things for GTA 4, I can't even remember on the top of my head, but um, I've done the Iron Man mod, which a lot of you guys seem to love. I had a lot of love on that episode. It was amazing. So I wanted to know, just like that Iron Man episode, was there any mods that you guys like to see? What the hell is this doing here? Okay, well a lot of you guys asked me, how is your game so stable? Ask me this. What is this? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to know what other things you guys wanted to see. One of the things that's on my to-do list, which I'm trying to think how I'd go about it, obviously, is making a video where I would showcase using these mods from Making Moves in Liberty City in the main storyline of GTA 4. But the question I'm having is, do I just want to show one video of that, or I want to do the whole thing, or do I do all of the entire storyline in one, one video? You know, th there's all these, like, rising questions that I don't know how to answer, per se. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. But as far as anything else, I mean, do you guys have any other suggestions for GTA 4 mods? I mean, one of them is coming up on New Year's, which I don't want to tell you guys about, but I think you guys can already suspect what it is. Um, let's see, if we're trying to go... Well, next stop, Frank... Frankfurt Avenue, Frankfurt Low. Holland and Bohan. Oh yeah, we want to go to Bohan, right? I mean, is that how it, is that how that works? Wait, how does it how does it work? Okay, so I think K means it's heading up north and going to Bohan. I think that means Frankfurt Avenue, and Frankfurt Avenue meaning all the way down here, like somewhere here near Kunzite and uh, and Frankfurt. I think that's exactly where that is and Lorimar. So okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to this one right here. Ah, thank god for the GTA 4 signs. I actually don't even know my train stations all that well. Now obviously, um, I don't know if I've ever taken the train before, but I've tried to in an episode before and it didn't work out quite as well because, uh, it literally just doesn't let random player pad models enter. You have to be Nico to actually get on. Unless that's just Algonquin. Maybe it could be, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out right now, actually. I think that might be Algonquin, because every time I used to play LCPDFR, it would let me onto the train. Oh no, I can get on the train. Oh, I can definitely get on the train. What? It never let me... It never used to let me do this before. What? I'm not kidding you guys. It never used to let me actually go on the train. For some... Okay, I'm not going to argue with it. I love it. I'm going to put on my seatbelt. Just in case the mod decides I want to fly out of the train. Which that's never going to happen. But okay, we'll sit for the train ride. Um, and I don't know if you guys can notice, but I've had it all this time. Uh, I actually changed the train sounds. This was thanks to one of my uh, subscribers who actually... Or one of the actually more dedicated people who've been watching Making Moves quite a lot. His name is Gabriel. 
I think he goes by the new name of Parallax. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly, but just want to thank you for that, by the way. You guys have been great with these mod suggestions, man. Okay, so this is Frankfurt Low, and I think it's going to go to Windmill Street, and I think Windmill Street is... Where is Windmill Street? That's definitely in Bohan. I know that. Windmill Street is... Where is Windmill Street? And I hope these uh, contracts don't expire, because that would be terrible. Windmill? That's Windmill Street? All right, well, we're definitely going to miss our train stop over here somewhere. I don't think there's no train stop over here. That's kind of what I suspected. But we're going to go to Windmill. We're probably going to just steal a car. I think that's exactly what we're going to have to do. No problem. That's fine. I'm cool with that. We'll sit for the train ride. I think I like it. I think you guys like it, too. You know, I gotta actually ask, guys, if you've played GTA 4, have you ever taken the train all that much? I mean, I be honest, be honest, I, I will be honest, I've hardly ever taken the train. The only time I've ever taken the train was for that mission with Vlad to go steal the, the, the Blista Compact. <laughs> That's like the only time I've ever used the train. You really gotta ask yourself, have you ever used it? Because I feel like people, 99.99999% of the time will use a taxi over a train. Now, if you use a train, I give you props, but I'm just saying I doubt if anyone's ever... What the hell just happened there? Anyways, I doubt if anyone has ever used the train. Like, I know I've definitely never used it a lot. But, I don't know. If you guys use it, let me know. I mean, it should be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, I just feel like taking a train is kind of fun, though. Like, I kind of want to do it in a, in a storyline gameplay. Or, like, you know, playing the story mode, you know, just take the train somewhere. And it's kind of cool how GTA is that kind of added this feature. And there's one thing that I know people have always argued about GTA 4, and how like they say like it's not like that good in some terms, which I, I get it, but it's not really that big of a. Uh, it's not really that. How do I put it this way? Um, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, people oftentimes say, well, GTA 4 doesn't really have a plane that you can ride on. That is true. Yeah, it does not have a plane. And that kind of makes sense because, I mean, really, if you look at the infrastructure of the map, where are you really supposed to go with the plane? I mean, you can fly off from here, but where else are you supposed to go? Sure, maybe you can go all the way around, like a merry-go-around, but then you'll, you'll land back here. There's no other, like, airfields. Now, if GTA 4 had, like, a little countryside and had a little, like, airport, like an airfield there, that would be cool, right? Like, kind of like Cayo Perico from San Andreas. You know, that makes sense. Because flying from LSIA to Sandy Shores is like kind of stupid, right, in, in GTA. But when you fly from LSIA to Cayo Perico or Sandy Shores to Cayo Perico in GTA 5, that makes a whole lot more sense, right? Because it's a completely different island from San Andreas. Cayo Perico is one of its own. So, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, there's really no point in keeping uh, an aeroplane system in, in GTA 4. It really doesn't make any sense. But for mods, if it was like a mod, okay, you're like, yeah, that's perfect. Like, I would love to have a mod where I could fly a plane in GTA 4. But to fly a plane in GTA 4, I mean, there's really no built system around it. You know what I mean? But I mean, it, after all, GTA is for fun, so it's not like they were thinking realistically about this. But I was just thinking realistically. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, that's just my little thing about GTA 4. Like, I've heard some people say there's no airplanes in GTA 4 when there should be. And I'll be honest, I don't think there should be. But here we are, we're at Windmill. I think we're going to have to take a car. So we may have to steal a car on the Lolo. Alright. Well, thank you. I'm so glad I can actually ride a train. I never thought I could in with the, with the player pad model, but I guess I could. And the train cost me, or the train ride was three bucks. The train fare. We'll exit through this way. Alright, we're gonna definitely have to find a car to take. We're not near anywhere special. There is a, uh, a garage nearby. Maybe I can take a quick snoop through there. If there's no cameras, obviously. We gotta do things without police attention, obviously, according to... The instructions from the contractor because police uh, police activity has been pretty tight around San Andreas or uh, San Andreas goodness Liberty City because of the whole gang violence that's been occurring a lot of gang shit <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anyone here 
We'll take a look, see. No, that's just a uh, that's just a prop. All right, so I actually found a couple of parked cars right over there. Actually, it's uh, right here on Lotus and uh, whatever this street's called. I forgot I still have some drugs on me. I never really thought about that. Am I able to walk? Yeah, I can walk. That's cool. Oh, look at that, guys. We are coming across potential Spanish Lord gangsters. You can tell because of their pet models, obviously, but in character, I wouldn't know that. Uh, but we're going to steal one of these cars, actually. We're going to steal that banana over here. We'll just wait for these guys to go. Oh, man, I would hate to be you. Oh, I would so hate to be you, but I'd love to have your car. But, uh, it's too flashy to take. And I still feel bad for you. And I feel bad for you. Who is that, Diego Baragas? Anyways, we're gonna get in this thing. It's unlocked? Okay, cool. It's only got 14% of fuel, but we're gonna have to make do with it. Alright, I don't think it's been reported stolen yet. This dude just left his car unlocked. And I was able to hotwire it. Cool, that's nice. Alright, we're gonna go and get up on out of here. And now we gotta go to this little... Parking space. He's still there? Damn. It's already like... We're already through the middle of the day now. I figured he'd move, but he wouldn't. I tried clicking eat a horn. Oh, do I have a cop's attention? You guys see that? The green little blip that just happened? Alright, no big deal. Oh, shit. Was there a cop right there? Oh, is this a stolen car? No, it's not a stolen car. I don't have a star right now, so we're good. Did I do something bad? Wait, he's right on my ass, dude. Well, I hope they don't call in about a stolen car at any point in time. That would be terrible. Maybe later on, but uh, not right now. I'm just gonna veer to the other lane. Good lord, buddy. Hey, These two wanna make a turn. Go ahead, I can I can see your tires turn like that. Go, go, go. I'd rather you not be on my tail. Don't any of you have jobs you need to get to? That's a nice blue actually. There we go. I was able to maneuver. Still not stolen, huh? That's cool. Now, how to know when it's stolen? If you click number pad zero, if you have the mod, then uh, it'll actually tell you on the bottom right hand side, or the bottom left hand side, sorry, that uh, it's been stolen. It'll have like a little star saying that it's stolen. Oh, there's a captain right there. That's cool. It's the captain's uniform. I didn't even notice that. What's up with these cops? I literally just drove. Normally. And they're acting all suspicious. What, is it actually stolen? Like, is it considered stolen right now? Let me drive past him. Does he say anything? No. He doesn't say shit about it. Okay. I don't know what I did. What do you want me to do, huh? Here we go. I think we're pulling up. I believe. <laughs> I just see that guy. Like, what the hell? I didn't even do anything. Right, so he's going to be somewhere around here. You need to be in a black car to begin. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Apparently I had to be in a black car to begin. Not quite sure what that meant. But apparently it's to start our mission. So anyways, we're going to be arriving here. I don't know where he is. I'm in a black car. Need to be here. It's not the vehicle. Oh, that's right. Oh. Thank you very much. I had Nico's voice. Okay, it should look like an accident. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool as hell, man. All right, so we basically. So I stole that banana for nothing. I wish it told me that beforehand, unless I wasn't paying attention. But okay, here we go. Oh.
Were there any witnesses? Nope, but well, we gotta get the hell out of here. I'm just gonna, gonna leave him like that. There we go. I think we I think he's dead. And yeah, hopefully he does not talk. We're gonna dump out this car anyway. No big deal. It's fine. Or we're gonna be up on out of here. It's definitely oh yeah, it's a huge blood stain. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna park this in this alleyway right now. I'm gonna park it right here. There we go. Alright, we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. I found this blista from around here. Not this blista, but this uh CRX. Okay, you know what? I'm uh definitely up and out of here, man. I think we just did it. Did we get any money for it? We got holy shit, we got uh nineteen thousand one hundred dollars for doing that correctly. But how come okay, so I don't know if I never paid attention, but it, I don't think it told me to be in a black car. To start the mission but in any which case we, we left the car there we just need to get the hell out of here we'll just find a taxi and put our way back to the train station actually that's a truck I want to get for Alex one of these days is this uh, Chevy Silverado that looks really nice but uh, okay we're gonna go and find a taxi guys and then I'll be back with you guys momentarily okay Alright guys, we made it back to the train station. We're not going to take the full taxi uh, fare over to, uh, what do you call it? We're not going to take it all the way back to uh, to where we were, but we're just going to take the train station back to Middle Park. And I think uh, this is the one, it's on Windmill Street. And I need to find the one that goes south Hello? towards Algonquin. So let's see, what does this say? Is there any uh, train logos here? Where does it go? Oh, I don't know where it goes. It's going that way. That means if it's going that way... If it's going that way, then it's definitely going back to Algonquin. But I think either way, you can take any train and it will take you back. It's a full loop. You guys see that? So okay, here's what we'll do then. But it, it could also veer off here too, so that's what I'm a little scared of. So what we'll do is we'll take the one that goes this way. So we're on the right on the right track here. And then we'll we'll take it back to uh to Middle Park and then we should be good. I think it was like C and or E and K. E and K is what their train lines are called. Or no, I think the one's called C and B, right? C and something. It was like a light blue color. It goes to like Frankfurt Avenue Low and things like that. I don't know, we'll find out. Is there any train logos here, actually? Oh, here it is. Windmills. Yep, Frankfurt Low, C and B, so I was correct about that. Okay, that goes, uh, that's K and E. That's the yellow ones, that goes all the way elsewhere. There we go. Excuse me, por favor. I will need to take the train station back. Thank you very much. Yeah, see, I'll kind of do episodes like these where we'll kind of, you know, change the feel up a little bit and uh, try to do things a little differently. We're on the B line. Where does the B go to? I'll think the B goes back to Frankfurt Low. Oh, damn, we just got some interest. You guys see that? $1,806. So we got uh, $1,196. We still got a little bit of uh, these little narcos remaining still. Uh, eight grams of that, three grams of this. I think we'll try to we'll try to utilize this in another episode. Not utilize it. We will uh, we will sell the product. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So like I said, this is a pretty unique episode. Uh, next episode, things will be taken off in a pretty huge climax. So that means that we'll be uh, we'll be <laughs> we'll be in quite some uh, some deep shit. I can tell you that for sure. And. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, that's all I can really tell you guys. The next episode is definitely going to be reaching a climax. Um, there will be a cinematic, obviously. And I like to tell you these behind the scenes because I feel like it kind of gives you a little incentive of what's going to happen. Or at least a little, like, you know, a little hype, hype kind of feel. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in terms of mods. I mean, like I said, I got one coming back on January 1st. Uh, like I said, I got one coming back on January 1st. And... I don't know, I just want to see if there's any any other ones that you guys can suggest. Like I already did the Iron Man mod, 
Uh, I know there's like a Watch Dogs mod out there. There's, there's plenty of GTA 4 mods, but I just want to get back on the old GTA 4 grind because I feel like GTA 4 is one of those special games on the channel, man. I've been doing it since 2014, ever since I started, and I've never stopped. I just love this game to bits and pieces. Alright, we are at Frankfurt Low. We want to go to just Frankfurt and Middle Park. Oh, okay, so okay, so B is basically in Bohan. C is what goes to Algonquin. I get it. I get it. Because it loops around the entire map. Yeah, see, C and B. So B goes to Bohan. C stays in Algonquin. They got these little different hexagonal shapes as well. Nice, man. And what do you guys think about the whole uh, the whole train station ride? Think it's a little unique? I think it's kind of unique to add to the series, kind of like, you know, uh, a, a kind of a, a neat addition to make it a little realistic, obviously, right? I'm still, like, really curious. Like, I don't know, it never told me about using a black car to, to do that. But, uh, you know what? It is what it is. I found out about it, I got a black car, and I took it. I'm just a little scared about the banana because I took that thing and then I took another car. And that's what I didn't want to do, but I got a lot of money for it. Alright, we're gonna leave the train. Peace out, homies. <laughs> Alright. So I'm probably gonna stop by an ATM. I know there's one here somewhere in the uh, train station. I think so, at least, right? No, not here. Yeah, there's definitely not an ATM down here. Oh, there it is, right over there. Is that an ATM or is that just a, uh, just where you can get your tickets? Let me see. Let's see. Oh, there's an ATM marked on the minimap. Okay, so that was not an ATM for sure. The ATM is down here? That's quite a long ways away. I would think to keep at least, you know, one ATM down here at least. But these are just to get your tickets. Because I don't know how much I'm actually at right now. I know I'm at a hundred and something K. I'm borderlining 200,000. Sometimes their good side is the inside. We can't all be photogenic. I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. Oh, what the hell? Alright, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what that even means. I've seen that sign so many different times with that dude's face on it, but I never knew what it meant. Okay, well, we're going to be up and out of here, and uh, we're going to go and return to our car and uh, get back to Bohan. But alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be concluding the episode here. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and if you guys did enjoy, then do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys have not yet. It's definitely a more unique episode to everything here. I feel like uh, doing this kind of stuff kind of defers it from like each thing that you guys wanted because see I I, uh, I put a poll out a long time ago and I asked you guys um, about uh, GTA 4 and making moves in Liberty City like what what have you always liked about it and uh, out of 229 votes 31% uh, of you guys said stealing cars you know doing crime gang stuff like kind of like what I just did like I basically did you know some crime stuff and things like that um, a majority of you, 45%, said that you guys like the jobs, you know, the whole cab service, food deliveries, things like that, which we can definitely keep on doing. You know, the whole uh, next episode, I mean, um, we may not do that, but we may do uh, the creative cutscenes and storylines, and then after that, you know, episode, we can do the whole uh, food deliveries and cab service, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, instead of selling all this product that I have here, we can just, uh, you know, do that, and then you guys like the whole mod of content, which is pretty cool, so... Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching once again, and uh, I really thank you all so much for your support. Thank you guys so much for 21,000 subscribers once again, guys. I really do appreciate it, and uh, I do want to say that GTA 4 has been one of the things that I've been doing for the longest. It is by far one of the most favorite games I have here, um, and I've always wanted to come up with something special for it. You know, a lot of the times when I do record a GTA 4 video, and why Sun Life takes so slow is because I want to create something special. I want to create something unique, uh, something that I've never done before. You know, this I've done before, this whole assassination mod thing, but it was a little bit unique how I did it. Um, you know, I did the whole train station thing. I went on the train station. I took the subway over to Bohan, came back with it. You know, it's, it was kind of cool. Um, I added a reason why I did that. Um, 
you know, what else? I also like the whole, um, you know, different stuff that I do for modding, different stuff I do for vanilla content. So GTA 4 is one of the things that will always stay on the channel, and I want to do something unique for it for every each and every time I want to do it. Um, but I do got to find a way to obviously stay consistent with it. So um, I definitely will be working towards that, guys. And I want to thank you all so much for your patience, obviously, um, in terms of, you know, waiting for this whole episode to come out, waiting for um, the next episode will come on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. Uh, and it will be the cinematic episode of Making Moves, and then followed by that, um, I plan on making something for New Year's that you guys will love. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching once again. Like I said, GTA 4 means a lot to me, so I'm glad you guys were here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for showing your support, and uh, if you guys do enjoy GTA 4 content, I can definitely guarantee that you guys will see GTA 4 content on here no matter what, and your best bet is to definitely subscribe and show your support, and stay tuned for another episode. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys later, and peace out.